Both Minecraft and Python have been installed on your computer, and we now need to make them talk to each other. In order to do that, we will be using a tool called Spigot. Spigot is what we call a Minecraft server. Spigot needs Java to run, therefore the next step is to install Java on your computer. So first, click on the Start menu and type CMD and click on the Command Prompt option. This will open this black window over here and it has a prompt like this one. Mine is users, Carlos, yours might be different. So type Java dash version, and this is to verify whether Java is or not installed on our system. So if Java is not installed, you should see something like Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. This means we need to install Java. On the other hand, if you see something like this, where after typing Java dash version, something saying that Java version and then a series of numbers and dots follows, that means you have Java installed. In my case, I have Java 12, which is, I believe, the latest at the time of this uh, video recording. But if you see Java version 1.8 or 1.9 or up, then you have the correct version of Java to run Spigot. So again, this is to verify, but since we don't have Java right now on this computer, we need to install it. So open the browser and go to java.com slash download. This will take you to this download screen. So click on Java download, the red button, then click on agree and start free download. And this will download the installer for you. Wait until it's ready. Find it where you saved it and click it or double click it. If your computer asks for permission, click yes. And then this is the setup wizard. So don't change the destination folder, you just use the default. Okay. And if you don't want to change anything, just proceed to click install. This will download the installer. Might take a while, so be patient. After the installer has been downloaded, you might need to close some of the windows in order to see it. So go and close the browser, close that window as well. And there you have it. So now it's installing Java. Just wait patiently, it might take a while. You will get a message that says Java has been successfully installed. Just close that. And now we need to verify again, repeating the first steps. So go back to open the comment prompt. So click on the start menu, type CMD and open the comment prompt. And then type again, Java dash version. And this time you should see that Java is installed. So I installed specifically version 1.8 and that's uh, the minimum version you need in order to run Spigot successfully. So if you see this message, it means that you're good. Java is installed.